People, my people, welcome to the uh, final part on how to make gin, and perhaps will also be subtitled how not to make gin. Okay, my records tell me that my maceration has been going on for four months now. You remember we whacked in um, coriander seeds, which you can see floating around. There's a whole lot of lemon peel in there, There's uh, and there's juniper. So I have done my best to make a bathtub gin, as I was told. Um, I went to the bathtub gin co and told them about this project and they said look you're making a bathtub gin this is the sort of gin that would have been made in America during the prohibition eras uh, Australia I think had half a brain and actually didn't have a prohibition so um, this is the sort of quick gin that would be made um, the alcohol it's been soaking in is 95% rectified spirit um, it's from Poland it's called spiritus um, it generally sells for about seventy dollars for half a liter. So what I've done is I've gone and gotten some demineralized water at my local supermarket. I'm now about to pop the lid on this baby, and I'm either going to have the best gin of my life, or I'm going to have something that's completely undrinkable. Now I am cutting it fifty-fifty. Okay, I'm going to fill up this bottle because if you drink ninety-five percent, which is about as close to completely pure spirits as you get. If you drink it, you're going to die. It will literally burn all the way down. So, whoops. Okay, I'm just gonna cut this baby with hopefully pure water. Bring it out, because that's what the gin distilleries do. They make pure alcohol, um, and then they basically thin it out with um, H2O. Um, so, yep, I have well and truly thinned that out. You can see there has been a substantial color change and I believe that color change is called louching um, and a whole lot of stuff is suddenly floating towards the top I think I've also whacked in that truck ton of ginger so I've tried to make a by memory version of Boat Rocker's Jungle Gin so I'm going to put the lid back on um, give it a little bit of a set shake um, and I think that my Move anything that's remotely <laughs> precious to me out of the way because this is either going to be really good or, as I've been told by at least one person, this is going to be vile swill. But I know it's not going to kill me, okay? I've cut the alcohol functioning in half. So at best, this baby's going to be a navy strength. Actually, I might go and get a small sieve. So, misbehave. Are you done misbehaving yet? I know it's only a lot so long, but I've got myself a small bamboo sieve. And off camera, because I don't have any props, I'm basically going to pop the lid on this baby. Um, and it's suddenly gotten very warm. That's interesting, I've never done this before. So, sorry, I've got big L plates on this baby. I'm gonna start sieving out a good measure of this. Okay. I've tipped people all over my keyboard and I'm going to about to try my very first homemade bath chub gin. Okay, I'm going to set that to side, going to dump that down there. I'm going to basically put this to one side and you can see that there was a shit ton of lushing happening. Um, the, sorry, the smell of happiness says that I've gotten the citrus right. This is a really almost like a gin cello or lemon cello. So now let's try the all important. Is this going to be actually drinkable? Um, this baby's easily navy strength. Um, it is very strong on the lemon. Um, and I have used deionized water. It's and it's not saying that I can't drink. It's suitable for laboratories, so I can collect colloidal silver or whatever you get Any application that requires distilled or deionized water. So distilled water. Um, added to this, so I'm 
basically and using distilled or close to pure water as I, I can get I'm actually um, replicating what they actually do in the distilleries um, and it is actually quite drinkable um, if anything I'm going to go a fair bit lighter on the lemon next time I do it but show me I'm not in the process of poisoning myself this is actually remarkably drinkable um, I would be using it thinning it out with uh, a whole lot of um, fever tree Mediterranean tonic to be honest with you a Mediterranean tonic something that's big on the citrus thin it out um, yeah this is yeah, it's some people were telling, telling me, oh, you can't get doing this Odin. And when I went to the bathtub gin care, they went, yeah, you're making bathtub gin. It's a prohibition type gin. So this is my first successful um, by gin. You can see it's definitely big on the lemon. Once I added that um, mineralized, demineralized water to it, all the lemon um, oils and that have come well and truly out of the mix. I'm actually quite happy with this. Um, and considering the fact that what the lemons are off the back of my tree, I was given the um, good gin ingredients of juniper, coriander seeds, and that by Organic Bay. Um, and the spiritus cost me about $70 or $80 dollars, half a litre. Um, I'm very, very happy with this. Um, and you should be too. So thank you, people, my people. Um, I haven't poised myself. <coughs> I couldn't help myself. So, thanks for subscribing. You're a